Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I want to show you how to use Keynote to create transparent video graphics that you can use in iMovie. So in Keynote, let's create a simple project here using a plain black background and I'm going to set the size to be the exact size of my iMovie a project which is 1280 by 720. That's very important that it's at at least to the same ratio, if not exactly the same size. And then I'm going to create the new project. So now as an example, I'm just going to leave this title here. I'm going to change it to something like that. Uh, I'm going to make it a lot bigger there and bold it. And then I'm going to apply an effect to it. So in the inspector, I'm going to go to the built-in for this element here. And I'm going to pick something uh, pretty cool, like maybe we'll use the shimmer in. And now if I run it, I can see they get an effect like that. So it would be really cool, of course, is to overlay just the text here over what I have in my video in iMovie. So the way to do that is I want to make the background transparent. So I'm going to bring up the inspector here and I'm going to go to the slide inspector and I'm going to uh, go to appearance and in there I'm going to change the background. Now you may be tempted to change it to none but that actually doesn't work. What you want to do is keep it at color fill. Click on that for the colors and change the opacity to 0% right there. So now of course you can't see it. Uh, welcome text is in white and now I have a white background although it's really a transparent background. Now I'm going to go to export and I'm going to export it. Now here's the other tricky thing. You have to export as QuickTime of course and I'm going to set it to fixed timing. So since I haven't recorded this slideshow I'm just going to have it go uh, five second duration on the slide um, so it will automatically basically just play. Then I'm going to turn on include transparency. I don't need the audio. There's no audio there. So now include transparency you think that would do it but that doesn't actually do it either. What you need to do is you need to go from formats from full quality to custom. And under custom, I leave the size like that, but I go to settings and I'm going to change the settings so I'm using the animation codec. And animation, then I'm going to go do a better frame rate, like 30 frames a second, and then go to millions plus. So that's very important there and do the best quality as well. Uh, millions plus, the plus gets us the transparency. So having that all set, I'll say OK and then next and I'll save this to the desktop as welcome. So here's that movie that I've saved to the desktop. I'm going to open it up in the QuickTime player. And one of the ways I know it worked is because I have a black background, but you noticed in Keynote I saw it as a white background. So I know that it's removed that white background and now I just get this over nothing. So here I am in iMovie. The uh, first thing I want to do, of course, is make sure I've turned on advanced tools because I'm going to need that to use picture in picture. Then I'm going to import that video that I created. I'm going to select it here and I'm going to make sure I've turned off optimized video because optimizing it will remove the uh, transparency. So I'm going to import it in and it's pretty small so it'll import in very quickly. And then once it's imported in, I see it appear in my event. I'm going to select it and drag it on top of this video here. Choose picture in picture. And I can see right away if I uh, go in the middle here I can see it appear um, and I can see that it's transparent over it. I'm going to want to expand it to fill the size. So I'm going to move it up to the upper left and drag the corner here to the bottom right. If I do it a little too far it disappears completely so I do it just before that. And now I can see it appearing on top. Uh, if I go back here and I play it, I could see that text appear transparently over the video. So wow, this really opens up a lot of possibilities if you have both iMovie and Keynote and enjoy making videos. You can use just that any transition, any text thing. You can use smart builds. You can use all sorts of different things like Magic Move and create animations in Keynote that are transparent and use picture in picture to put them on top of video that you've got in iMovie. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do, cool special effects that you can use to kind of extend iMovie's ability using Keynote, which is a fairly inexpensive program that can produce this kind of thing. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.